What is going on YouTube? Joe here with Culination Media and welcome back for another episode of The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. In the last episode, we finished off by going back in time. We did the doggy racetrack. We did a bunch of uh, side questy things. And uh, actually, in this episode, we could do more side quest things. I almost forgot what song I was trying to play there. I'm trying to play the inverted song of time so that we can slow the flow of time and all that jazz. But anywho, like I was saying, there's a bunch of stuff, not a bunch of stuff, there are two more things that I know that we can do that are side quests, and that is the Honey and Darling Shop, and I'm going the wrong way again. The Honey and Darling Shop, which is in Clock Town, you get a heart piece out of that, and then the Dooku Scrub Playground, which is also in Clock Town, and you can get a heart piece out of that as well, but I feel like we've been doing side quests for quite a long time. Um, so I'm actually going to start the next part of the story now, and probably after the next temple, if I remember, we will come back to those side quests, because I like to kind of just break things up just a little bit, and I feel like we've done enough side quest stuff. I don't even know how many episodes it's been, but it's been at least two that I know of, and that, that feels, that feels side questy enough for now. So we're going to be heading to the north of Termina Field and heading up the mountains to the snow area of the game, which is just super exciting, and I don't know why I went up here when I freaking need arrows to knock this thing down. Up here, take a look at this! I bet if you had a weapon that was strong enough, one shot from it could pierce right through this. Well, it might take two shots. Okay, well, I have exactly zero shots available to me right now, so I needed to hack up some grass. So we need to go do that real quick. And getting some bombs will be helpful as well, so we probably want to do that anyway. I guess I'll go over here, and we can we can beat up this choo-choo. We can destroy this grass, get all kinds of arrows and ammunition. Seriously, how did that hit me? How did I let that happen? Bombs, please. There we go. Okay, I want to get a little bit more. I don't think that's quite enough. Well, we got max arrows out of that? That's crazy. That is crazy. We only got five bombs, though. Let's get a few more bombs. That will be useful. Now, if you remember, we did get the big bomb bag, so we should be able to carry 30, I think, because I'm pretty sure the... Why can't I do my spinning attack? There we go. I'm pretty sure that the big bomb bag carries 30, and the regular bomb bag is 20. But we're also going to be getting the uh, largest bomb bag, 15. That's probably enough for now. Uh, we're going to be getting the largest bomb bag coming up here in the next area at some point. I don't know exactly when, but we are going to do that. I know it's it's up here in the mountains. So you do have to have the big bomb bag to be able to do that. So if you're following along, make sure that you, you did that already. Boom! There's one. Oh, I almost missed that. And just like that... The path is clear for us to go into the snowy mountains of... What is this called? Snowfall? I always forget what it's called. Okay, now I think we can blow these up with bombs. Can you target the... Is that a Tektite? Tektite. Don't you know about the blue Tektite? Use the targeting to follow it as it bounces. Okay, so we can guard against it. And when it's on the ground, we just smash it like so. We can also smash it and slice it and such. Uh, when it's jumping at us, but, you know, I'm gonna bring out the blast mask too, so we don't have to waste bombs. Boom! Oh, so happy I did that for one freaking rupee. One rupee! Anything in this tree? I feel like there should be something in this tree, but I can't, I can't roll into it. Roll, there you go! Yay, bombs! Yay! Can I use this now? Yes, it already charged up, so we'll blow that up. Nothing was in there? That big giant snowball thingamajiggy and there's nothing in there at all. Okay. Well, you know what? Whatever. Look, another another blue tech day. I always want to call it tech tyke with an extra K instead of tight. Yay, five rupees. Oh, Another evil spider is in here. Can we even call them a spider, though? I mean, they only have four legs. I don't know, man. So the blast mask is really useful for being able to save bombs. I will give it that. 
That's why I love the Blast Mask, and I recommend that you get it early, because it just comes in handy. It's just, it's a free bomb ever, however many seconds. Let's see what this, um, what is this? The Gossip Stone has to say. What do you have to say, Mr. Gossip Stone? Or Mrs. Gossip Stone? I'm not assuming no genders here. Its words are heard in secret. As always, the gold dust won as the prize in the Goron races in spring can be used by the smithy to forge a sword. Okay, but it's not spring in the mountains yet. Nor will it be anytime soon. We've got a lot to do before we get to that point. Or it can be sold to the smithy for 40 rupees, but the curiosity shop will buy it for 200 rupees. Okay, but going through all of the work to get it, like at that point it doesn't really make sense to be selling it. Or at least I wouldn't. Oh look, arrows. Alright, and so now we gotta blow these up. That's why I needed bombs, but if you have the blast mask, you can just do that. That makes everything so much easier. And we can save our bombs for when we actually need them. Or we can use them as as uh, convenience items. Oh look, a sign. Ah, I almost ran right into that. Almost. Why does it take three shots from the sword to kill you? I don't understand why you're the most powerful insect on this mountain. How are you even surviving with all this snow? Mountain village ahead. Beware of blizzards and deep snow. Goron should be able to break these snow boulders easily. Well, I am not a Goron, so... It is not helping me whatsoever. Can I climb up here and avoid using bombs? I apparently can. Ooh, and I can go to the middle, too, so I can probably blow up all three of these. Or... No, I did. But there was another one left standing. They each had one rupee. Oh, joy. I really figured they would have something... Something better. Why do the trees have better items than these giant boulders that require bombs to break? I don't get it, man. I don't get it. Okay, I think we have finally reached Mountain Village. I took a whopping three minutes to arrive at. It's very quiet here. Very, very quiet. That Goron looks a little bit cold. Also, how the heck is this a village? There is one house. There's like literally no other buildings. No other, no other villagers. Nobody lives here. How is it a village? Maybe it was a former village because I just don't understand. I don't understand. Let's talk to this Goron who's freezing up here. Whoa! Up here, up here! I'm sorry to bother you from such a high place, but I'm very hungry, and I've gotten stuck here. Okay, is that all you have to say? Is that you're hungry? Oh, it is so cold! I'm so very hungry, I don't think I'm going to make it. I just want to eat once more before I die up here. Something tough and hard to chew. I cannot forget that flavor. Okay, so he wants a rock, I think, of some kind. Because Gorons love to eat rocks. Because who doesn't, right? Who doesn't like a good rock every now and then? This way to Snowhead, beware of the slippery valley trail and the giant falling snowballs. Well, I don't think we can go that way just yet. But we can get a nice little shortcut. Which I will probably be taking advantage of later. Um, and it's just good in general to have that set up. Oh look, a fairy! Do I, how many bottles do I have? I only have one bottle. Okay, I'm not going to waste it on a fairy because we're going to need it for something else in a little bit here. More arrows. Okay, I think we're stocked up. I'm pretty sure... Oh, no, we only have 24 bombs. Well, I thought we had max, but apparently not. I don't know why I'm not wearing my bunny hood. So eventually we're going to be heading up there. There is there's something up there that we want. But we can't do that just yet. Deep water, Gorons beware. Gorons who can't swim shouldn't play near here. I thought all Gorons couldn't swim. I don't know. I don't know. But as you can see, there's no way up there. So we gotta we gotta make our way. And we're gonna take a little detour in order to do that. So let's head this way. Pretty sure this is the correct way. Let's check what this sign says real quick. Goron village ahead, beware of the white wolf host. Alright, that is where we need to go. We are heading towards the Goron village slash Goron city slash whatever you want to call it. Oh joy, another tech tight. Come get some, you s 
Silly spider thingamajiggy. All that work for one rupee. My gosh. Okay, now, these, this area is like kind of strange because it seems like if you fall down, you should be able to just walk up, but these little hills are like too slippery. So we gotta be careful not to fall down, otherwise we have to run all the way back and run up the ramp to the right here. So I almost jumped off. Oh my gosh. Okay, we got a white wolfos. It's a white wolfos, lord in, and watch its movements. It doesn't like its tail to be touched. Oh, how did he block that? And I know I can kill you one shot if I hit your tail with a jump attack. Barely. Barely. I don't know why I can barely get off the ground. I don't know if that's because of, uh, of the snow or what. Maybe I should take the bunny hood off because it is causing me some problems with navigating. Come on down, Tingle. Do I even have enough rupees to buy a map? Uh, 20. Hopefully that is enough. Maybe I should have gotten some rupees before we left Clock Town. Let's see. Let's see what Tingle is selling us today. Yes, we know you sell maps. Come on. You say the same exact thing every single time. Snowhead of Romani Ranch. I don't know if we have that one yet, but I'm not going to buy it for 40 rupees. Not here. We do want the Snowhead map, though. So we might as well buy that. And we won't be going to Snowhead for a little bit, but at least we have it now, so that is exciting. That is exciting. Another White Wolfos. I knew you were there. Oh, I thought I could run by you. Did that do a full heart of damage? That is craziness. We don't need to kill him because he's literally just going to come back as soon as we head back over here. Whoa, gosh. I don't know if that would, if that hurt, if that would hurt us or not. Not sure about the fall damage on snow. It's cold. Why, yes. Thank you, Captain Obvious. Being the gatekeeper in this cold is hard. Do you want to enter the Goron Shrine? Uh, no, I'm not going to do that yet. We do have to go talk to the Elder Son who's in there, but um, I'm not going to do that just yet. Um, so, you know. We gotta get we gotta get an item first, and that is over here. Whoa. Why is all that stuff moving in the background? Are those clouds? Is that what that's supposed to be? For some reason I initially thought they were trees. I don't know. All I know is we need to go in this little cave over here. But our our good friend the owl is here to greet us first. Hoot! We meet again, fairy child. Have my stone statues been of help? Well, considering I have encountered maybe four or five of them, uh, kind of, sort of. Not kind of, sort of. They definitely have helped. I'll give you credit where credit is due, Mr. Owl. Well, it seems you may have the strength to change the fate of this land as I had expected. But the road ahead is even more challenging. Many trials await you. Please watch over these Gorons around you. Their land is doomed to be smothered in ice and snow forever. That's not even the order that those words are in, but whatever. It will become a land where no living thing can survive. Without courage and determination, you surely will collapse from the extreme conditions. But if that courage and determination burns bright within you, then that's another story. So, will you proceed? Yes. Not that we have much of a choice. You are a child of many strengths. Well, perhaps you do have enough strength to change the fate of this mountain after all. I shall take to the air now, flying toward that shrine across the way, so follow behind me. So basically, there appears to be no way over there as it's kind of just like hovering in midair, but there are actually invisible platforms, and in order to know where they are, because we do not have an item that allows us to see invisible things yet, we're going to use the feathers that fall from Mr. Owl here to guide us. And they disappear pretty quickly, so we gotta be fast, and the platforms that we're jumping on are ice. So it can be a little bit difficult. We may have to do this a couple of times before I get it. We shall see. Do not be daunted by appearances. Instead, let your feelings guide you and the true path shall open before you. Are you ready? Follow behind me. All right, here we go. Here we go. See, there are his feathers dropping and we kind of have to be fast because they do disappear after about four or five seconds, something like that. Um, that didn't take very long. 
That did not take very long for me to fall off. It seems things are not going well for you. Yes, obviously not. Fear not, it never goes well at first for anyone, but by no means should you grow impatient. Impatience brings uneasiness and distracts the heart. Will you try again? I sure will. We don't have to go over it again. I know what I'm supposed to do. I just missed the platform. Oh man. Oh man. A part of the problem with this, honestly, is the camera. You can't get it to be completely where you want it. Um, but the, yeah, the key obviously is to, after you jump, to stop and not be pressing the key, the control slash analog slash joystick the entire time because you just slide all over the place and then you'll slide past the feather and onto the other side of the platform and then you try to overcompensate and then you end up just sliding off anyway. And it's, it's not a hoot. It is not, it is not. From here on. You must not be fooled by appearances. You must rely on your feelings. I don't know if anyone has ever told me to rely on my feelings before, but that is a first. That is a first. Now into the shrine. Something that will aid you in your quest lies within. Use that item when returning from here. Okay, so that item is going to allow us to jump across the platforms and back to where we need to go. But first we gotta see what is in here. What could it be? Grass and a treasure chest, okay. Ooh, bombs. I guess that makes sense because there's all these boulders and such. Oh, a treasure chest. Probably should get the big treasure chest first. 50 rupees? Yay. All right, let's see what is in here. Hopefully it is something good. And it is the lens of truth. Gaze through it to see mysteries that are invisible to the naked eyes, and it's a seed to use it. Seeing the truth drains magic power, so tap C again to stop looking and using up magic. So basically, long story short, it allows us to see invisible things. I don't need the camera out. But we can check to see if there's any invisible stuff in this room. Ooh, there's a spider over there, okay. A skull tula. Oh, I had the blast mask on, so I just killed it with a bomb. Well then. Oh, there's an invisible treasure chest, too. In the next temple, there's going to be a lot of invisible stuff. Invisible treasure chests everywhere you look. All right, I guess I'll blow this up now. And there is nothing in there. What the heck? Okay, take the mask off. And we'll destroy this stuff. This just has magic to make sure that you have enough to be able to get back. I guess the other one just had bombs so we could blow up the boulders. But I'm going to use exactly zero of those because of the lovely blast mask. And there's nothing else in here. That's it. Oh well. I thought there would be something else of use, but apparently not. Alright, so now we can use that and just jump across and we don't have to worry about the feathers disappearing. We do have to worry about running out of magic, but you don't run out of magic that quickly. Uh, and oh look, a Goron ghost thingamajiggy. We just is chilling here. I guess we'll talk to him. Can it be? Are you able to see me? If you truly can see me, then follow behind me. And so this is going to lead us on a following slash chase sequence that leads us all the way back to the mountain village. Is that what it's called? Mountain village? I believe that's what it's called. Um, but there is a way to skip that. And I'm actually going to do that because I don't even know where the heck he went. There he goes. But he's going to take us back... Um, past the last couple screens that we were through and past all the enemies and all that stuff but there is a very very easy way to skip that and that is by just pulling out your ocarina and using the song of soaring to soar back to the last owl statue that we unlocked is it called mountain village it is called mountain village i still don't understand why it's called a village because nobody lives there it just doesn't make any sense 
I cannot wrap my head around it. And I don't accept it. I tell you right now, I do not accept it. Oh look, we are here. And now with the lens of truth, we can suddenly see the wall and see that there's stuff that we can climb up. So he actually would eventually lead us here, but we can just skip all that by just going here anyway, and he's going to appear up um, inside the shrine, I believe. I believe that's how that works. So now we gotta jump on these ice thingies, and that's really annoying, so I'm gonna skip that too by pulling out the Dooku mask, and we're just gonna hop. Because hopping is so much easier than doing it the real way. All right, so. Wait a minute, should I put on the bunny hood? Does that make me climb faster? I don't think it does. But I like to wear it anyway. You know, it's a it's a styling thing. Now I think the correct path through here is to the right, then to the left, and then to the right again. Um, if not, it's left, right, left. We're gonna find out. We're gonna find out. I always get this part mixed up. But yeah, I hope that no, I hope. I wish that there was a way to speed up climbing just a little bit. But we don't have like a stamina gauge or anything to speed things up. There's no climbing gear. There we go. Okay, we made it to the top. Alright, and so we already got full magic again. Hello, peoples. I'm just gonna go in here and not talk to you, even though that one Goron is literally just frozen. There he is, he just happens to be here. So you could go through all that of following him through the mountain, but I was not about that life. This saved us an extra five to 10 minutes probably, something along those lines. Will you talk to me? There we go. The soaring one said the one who could see me would be arriving soon. The soaring one, Mr. Al. It seems that it turned out to be true. I am Darmani the third, the blood of proud Goron ho heroes, horrors. That's not a word. Heroes runs in me. This feels strange for me to say, but when I was alive, I was a renowned warrior and veteran. Did you have legs? Because it just seems like you'd be a better hero if you had legs to fight with. I don't know, man. I don't know what I'm saying. It sounds like he really wants to be alive again, but alas, I am now dead. What a shame. He's very, he's very torn up about being dead, I will tell you that much. I was fine until I marched off to Snowhead by myself, hoping that I could drive off a demon. It had been wreaking havoc on Goron Village, and the blizzard at Snowhead blew me into the valley, and now here I am. That is not a good way to go. That is not a good way to go at all. How infuriating. As I am, I can only watch as Goron Village is slowly buried in ice. I may have died, but I cannot rest. So... You can use magic. The Soaring One also told me that you are able to use it. I beg you, bring me back to life with your magic. If it is beyond your power, then I beg of you to do this for me instead. Heal my sorrows. Any way that you can do it will suffice. Please heal my sorrows. Okay, so he either wants to be brought back to life or he wants to just be made to feel better and not feel so sad that everybody is about to die from like starvation and being frozen and all that jazz. So what we can do is we can play the Song of Healing. Oh, that is a bonus song that we haven't learned yet. What is the Song of Healing? I think it's this. There we go. I wanted to get it without checking. I was a little bit afraid that I wasn't going to. It's only a three note song, man. It should not be that difficult for me to remember, but alas it is. What a soothing melody. My sorrows are melting away into the song. That's interesting. It's an interesting way to put it, that his sorrows are literally melting inside of a song. Was he always different color? That's what I want to know, like, when he was alive. I doubt it, though, because coming up, people kind of recognize the Darmani character as a normal colored Goron, so I'm guessing this is just his ghost form? I don't know what to make of it all, but I know his story is very sad. He appears to be healed, though, after uh, after all of that. So, you're welcome. Oh, look, he has turned into a piece of wood. How nice. Very similar to the Dooku Mask, we now have the power to turn into a Goron. I leave my undying feelings with you. 
The deeds I accomplished while living are carved on my grave. You should read it. All right, we have the Goron Mask, the second transformation mask of the game. There's one more that we have to get, unless you're counting the Fierce Deity Mask, which is something we can only use in boss rooms and something that you don't get till the very end of the game, so I don't really count that. Uh, anyway, we got the Goron Mask. The mask contains the spirit of a proud Goron hero. Okay, so we can inhabit the body of a Goron. And that is precisely what we are about to do. For the Goron Village, I have asked your assistance. And we will, we will give said assistance. Let's pull out the Goron Mask and watch the transformation for the first time. After this, I can skip it. It looks so creepy. Oh, look, we are a giant Goron wearing a nice green hat. Let's check out the grave. The Goron hero Darmani III rests here. In honor of a great hero, this memorial is inscribed with the knowledge of a great hero. So this is basically going to teach us how to play as a Goron and give us a rundown of some of the abilities that we have that we don't have normally. Will you read the knowledge imparted by the hero? Techniques for action, techniques for battle. Okay, let's let's go with action first. Oh, chosen Goron hero, your power to lift objects without effort is mightier than the strength of any other. And your heart is strong too, as it is filled with compassion that is kinder than any other. Wow, everything is more than any other. Goron heroes press A and the control stick so that they may curl up and roll wherever it is that they may need to go. So Goron moving around is quite slow because they're so large. They're bulky. They are, they're jacked. They're all kinds of stuff. So rolling is going to make things a little bit faster. Gorons who possess magic power roll swiftly enough. Spikes will emerge from their bodies so that they may mow down enemies. And that is going to be a skill that we're going to be, be using a lot. It also allows us to uh, move a little bit quicker through snow and jump off of ramps, if you can believe that. Water is disastrous for Goron heroes, for they sink like stones and are rendered motionless in the deep. Okay, so we do not, we do not want to do that. So that's, this is just how we roll around. Uh, that seems kind of difficult to control with my current controller, but we will uh, figure it out. All right, let's see what the other one says, the other option. Techniques for battle. Check out the battle techniques. The powerful punch that Goron heroes unleash by pressing B is feared by all. By repeatedly pressing B, Goron heroes will deal out a barrage of punches. This attack does a lot of damage, but it's honestly too slow. And that's that's what really grinds my gears about it, and I tend not to use it too much. After using A to curl up, a Goron can jump with B and land with quaking impact that is so mighty it can flatten enemies. That sounds fun. How do I do that? Oh, it just told me how to do that. So we gotta roll up and then press B. Ooh, little shockwave attack. I like that, that's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. All right, and then we got the punch attack. It's like a flaming fist of doom. Look, Darmani's a lefty. Well, I guess not Darmani, Link is a lefty. And there's our barrage, finishing things up with a nice little booty attack. Okay, now we have to pull this thing out of the way. I don't think it tells you to do that anywhere. But that's just what has to be done. We have to reactivate the hot spring because we're going to need the water here. I don't know why I took the mask off, but that's why I didn't get a fairy in a bottle earlier because we're gonna have to release it anyway. And I believe it only lasts for a limited time. So, yes. You filled your bottle with hot spring water. Use it with C before it cools. Well, okay then. I will I will try to do just that. And I know just where we have to go as well. Okay, we have to talk to this guy. You're, no, no, you're not the great Darmani, are you? Then just whose grave was I making? Did you come back to life because it was so warm beneath your grave? Yes, that... That sounds reasonable. There used to be a hot spring bubbling beneath the great Darmani's grave. If I had some of that hot spring water, I might be able to thaw out my frozen brother. Okay, well, let's do that, and we can run back in there and grab some more. Hopefully I was close enough. Otherwise, that's going to be a giant waste of time. Yay! Did we get anything for this? I don't even remember. I do not remember. Oh, are you all right, brother? You were frozen, but the great Darmani saved you. The great Darmani? What's with you? Are you half asleep? Did you hear this guy? The great Darmani died long ago and is lying in his great Darmani. 
Everyone is going to be shocked to see us now. Everyone thinks that we are Darmani because we basically are some weird incarnation of him. Great Darmani, please do something about the... Okay. You're not going to give me anything for all of that. Okay. They do give you a hint on what you need to do next, though, and that is to go see the Elder, who allegedly is in the Goron City that I skipped over because there was nothing we could do at that point there. Um, but that's where we're going to be headed next, and we're going to be creating a shortcut to get more hot spring water with this spring water. So, yes. Yes. Boom. I love doing this. Oh, if only I did not bounce off of the house. We could have just spiked our way all the way to the next area. Ah, get away from me. But now we can roll up these little hills. So that's, that is something. Run, Link, run. Gotta get my bunny hood out. I don't know how much time this actually has. I don't think I've ever had it run out on me before. Um, I know it doesn't last too long. This will actually freeze us. I've done that many times before. But it's like, you're playing a, a bit of a game where if you get too close, you're going to... Ah! We don't want to go in there yet. If you, if you get too close, you're going to get frozen. How can he run over the bridge? That's cheating. But if you're too far away, you obviously waste your spring water, then you have to go all the way back and climb up that freaking thing again. So we can talk to this guy now to open up the door that is down here. Show it in a second. Oh, a Dooku nut. What the heck? This door. But we don't have to do that because now we have the Goron Mask and we can just open it ourselves by just coming up here and then using the Quaking Goron Roly Poly Pound Attack. That is the official name of that move, by the way. Crying babies! One of my least favorite sounds on planet Earth. Crying children. Children themselves are cool, but crying children, not so cool. So we're gonna help fix that problem so that uh, everybody can can get some rest and enjoy the somewhat warmth inside here. Do they have a heater? They don't have any of these torches lit, so what is going on? I definitely need magic. Is there a chance that any of these pots have magic? Yay, and a Dooku stick as well so that we can light these torches. I think there might be torches that are lit in here, potentially. Um, no, okay, maybe that's later on. I do not know, but we're going to put on the Goron mask and talk to the little, little kid here, sitting on the throne of all things. Or what appears to be a throne, at least. Wow, wow, daddy. Uh, I'm cold, daddy. So he's, he's a little chilly. We need a heater in here. Ah, Darmani, where's my daddy? Where's my daddy? Yeah, where is he? He just says the same thing over and over again. Okay, what does he say if I talk to him as a human? I'm, he basically just says the same thing and I'm, I'm not gonna, not gonna do that again. All right, let's put on the Goron mask and talk to some of these guys. Oh, Darmani, you're alive. This is wonderful, but there's no time for catching up if something isn't done right now about that crying. Look at this! The torch that was just lit has gone out. Ugh, again with that terrible crying. Well, why did the torch go out? Is it because it's cold? Because fire can withstand cold. Those sideburns, aren't you, Darmani? You're supposed to be dead, but you're alive? The Elder was troubled because he thought you were dead. I'm troubled too. The Elder went to Snowhead and hasn't come back, so now his son is so lonely he won't stop crying. If you don't find the Goron Elder and ask him to come back, I'll never be able to sleep. And it just keeps getting colder outside. Even here, it is so cold that we could freeze. Well. Well then. Okay. I don't know if I was supposed to do that or not. I think there might be an item in one of those things. I don't know. But uh, we do not have to be in here any longer. We have to go search for the Goron Elder. And I'm just realizing that it has now been well over a half an hour in this video. So probably should be calling it quits soon here. Rolling up the ramp. 
Shortcuts everywhere. Probably should not be using these spikes as often as I am because it's draining magic power for literally no reason. Okay, now this guy, he changes positions based on what day it is, and since it's the first day, he's just chilling right here. I know on the third day, he's actually all the way up by Mountain Village, and on the second day, he's on the left side over there somewhere. I don't know exactly which boulder it is, but yeah, we don't have spring water though, so we can't do anything about it. We have to go into that hole that is a shortcut that we just made. If you don't do that with the hot spring water the first time around, you have to go all the way back to the freaking... Goron um, hot spring grave area and it's just a whole fiasco and we do not like fiascos they are not good Let's see what's what's in here anything nope why are you even here like why why nope did not mean to do that I was trying to take off the blast mask so I don't blow myself up free dooku stick oh joy I feel like there has to be something in some of these rocks, right? Like, you would think. They're not rocks, they're boulders. But you know what I mean. I'm not sure what the purpose of the, the Dooku Babas being withered here. Like, what, what, what is that supposed to do for us? Anything here? Nope. Is there nothing in any of these boulders? Because that is a bit upsetting. Come on back. Charge! Charge! Can I maybe destroy both from right here? Maybe if I turn the other direction. Or I could destroy neither! Wow. Okay, let's pull out the real bombs. Because that's going to take too long. Aha! Finally! There is something. What is it? It is a red rupee. After all of that, we get 20 rupees. That is just... That is just cruel. We could stock up completely on... Why am I still wearing the blast mask? Does anybody know? We could stock up on Dooku sticks. But there's really no reason at this point. Just want to scoop up that hot spring water. And... Ah! Uh, now we can go talk to the elder. And he is probably back in that boulder. Just chilling right here. Nope, he is not. It's this one. Well. All right, let's pull the hot spring water out, melt down this ice, and we're going to learn part of a song here, I believe. Probably should kill this freaking tech tyke. This is going to be difficult on ice, isn't it? What? Did that like bounce off of him? What the heck? What is this like spinny attack that it keeps doing? I don't understand what's happening. Okay, I know we're gonna need the ocarina because we're learning a song. So let's talk to him here. Huh? What was I doing? Ah, it's already this late. I must hurry. Huh? Oh, you're Darmani. Darmani. Yes, he pronounced the name wrong. He's old, okay? Leave him alone. But you're supposed to be dead. Am I hallucinating? Maybe this is also the doing of Snowhead's magic power. Hmm. I've been made a fool of. But that's impossible. I refuse to flinch. If I can see past the illusion, you'll vanish in an instant. What? My son is crying because he misses me. Why do you know that? My son misses me. Oh... Forgive me, my child. Your father has work to do. Yeah, so do I. If you could just teach us the song, that would be great. Darmani, be you a ghost or a figment of my imagination, I no longer care. If you feel pity for my crying son, then please quietly sing my son to sleep with his song. I am about to play on my drum. It is the very same melody that was often played for you when you were young. Okay, check it out. Where he was keeping that, I do not want to know. Hopefully it was in his hair or something. Um, that's it? I mean, I know he doesn't teach us the whole song here. It's part of a song, but is it only three notes? Watch me forget what they are, too. Because I'm good like that. Ah, yes, yes, like this. 
No, you can only remember the three notes. It's no good, I can remember only the beginning. I'll just teach you the beginning. Okay, that's fine. We can figure out the rest of the song. I'm sure, you're, you're, I'm sure that your son can fill us in with the remaining notes. So A right, left. Look at our drum set, that's pretty freaking awesome. I don't think it sounds quite as nice as the, the Dooku pipes, but uh, I, I like that we have a whole set so we can play all the different notes. How the Elder is playing a bunch of different notes on just one little drum, I don't know. He's just an expert. He knows just how to hit it in the right places and you know, with the right amount of force, he can play any song he wants, if he can remember it. We learned the lullaby intro, the soothing melody of a thoughtful father. Well then, he looks more like a grandfather. Like, why is his son so young? I don't, I don't understand what's happening. It's not that I forgot it. It's just so cold that I can't play very well. At any rate, I'm counting on you. Okay, well, we're not going to bother him with um, why he forgot his son's favorite song or any of that. It's freaking Wolfos right here. Man, I don't want to kill you because there's literally no point. There is a literally no point. Okay, we are over 40 minutes in now, so we're gonna call it quits after getting inside here because we want to not be out in the cold. As much as I love snow, we want to warm up a little bit, although apparently it's very cold inside as well, but at least we're not actually in the snow. Oh boy, crying, 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 crying. So hopefully he can teach us the last couple notes of this song and we can put him to sleep and he can stop annoying everybody. Oh boy. All right, so that's gonna be it for this episode. Thank you guys for watching. I'll be back in a few days for the next one. And uh, we should be ready to head on over to the second temple already. Uh, we got a lot done in this episode, so I'm pretty happy with that. So with that being said, I will see you all next time. Until then, game on.